Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawl Craft One and my old barn door. And I'm back working in my billowing journal and I wanna grunge up um, this a couple of things. Well, maybe just one, I don't know. We might do two. Um, but it's right here. It's gonna go in this beautiful um, crochet billy band pocket. And so um, it's, um, this is a letter that I got from my sweet friend, Laura. She is the Jersey crafter. Actually, now I think she's the Jersey creative on YouTube and Etsy. And, well, I don't know if she's on Etsy. I think she's just on YouTube. Um, but thank you, Laura, for sharing these. These are from her family farm. Um, this is a Dutch letter. Um, so I wanna grunge it up and make it look, I mean, it looks old already, but I wanna ink it up and then ink up the back and grunge it up a little bit and um, have it for this pocket here. And then I have another one here that I wanna do. So we'll see how far we get with it. And, um, and we'll just keep going in our journal. We're almost there, y'all. I know it seems like it's been a long series, and it has been, it's been a long series. Um, but uh, after we finish that, we can probably, well, there's one more pocket that I wanna do with y'all. And then um, we'll decorate uh, our billowing part and then we'll decorate the cover and the spine and we'll be done. So we're getting there. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. Whoops, <laughs> it's a big boy. All right, and we're gonna take our little letter here. I'm gonna go ahead and do these at the same time. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and tear this one. I hope y'all are having a good day. Hope everybody is well and healthy and happy. So I'm just gonna tear. I need to make sure I'm in frame here. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so I'm just tearing the edges off. Um, I could have used my tear ruler, but I wanted it to look a little more jagged than, than the tear ruler does. So, but you know what? I do have another side. To this tear ruler let's try this side and see what it does i don't know how it's going to do but we're going to try it i know you're supposed to wet it i'm just too lazy to oh i like that okay we'll go with that Thank you, Laura, for sharing a piece of your family history with us. Okay. And it doesn't have to be exactly like the tear ruler, but this just mainly makes it a little easier to tear it and have something to hold it down with. It doesn't hurt your hands as bad. Sorry if I bumped the camera. I have it plugged in because the battery was dying. Okay, it doesn't want to go back in there. All right. Okay, so now I'll, you can already kind of see where it had the folds in the letter. So I'm just going to fold it on those folds. Maybe if I can find them again. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna hold it there. And then it's real light, but you can you can barely see it. Y'all, if y'all hear something snoring, it is my dog. Remington is snores like a man. It's so funny. So she's laying in the floor. There we go. Alright, so now I am going to take I have two of my distress oxides. I have the vintage photo and the ground espresso. Make sure y'all can see okay. I'm gonna zoom in for you just a little. Ooh, not that much. Sorry, didn't mean to make you dizzy. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, so I always start with the lighter color first because you can darken it up, but you can't lighten it up. So I'm just gonna take the vintage photo 
I'm going to go around this edge here. This might be boring for some, but you know, I just thought for beginners, um, you know, this might be helpful to kind of show you how how to get it grunged up real good. And if you're like me, like this is just printed on copy paper. So if you have a hard time with that, if it starts hurting your hands, let me see if I can find something. Um, what did I do with them? I just had some scrap pieces laying here. Oh, <laughs> get a piece of cardstock and put it behind it. And that will help it to not hurt your hands so bad. So then you can just kind of do it like this. And it makes it a little easier to get the ink on there, you know, with it being such a thin paper. And it might be better to get a smaller piece. I just didn't have a smaller piece close to me. So we're going to make do with what we've got. Okay. I'm just going to line that up to the side. And it does make it a little easier to get the ink on there. You just have to kind of slide it up a little. Slide it around with it, so to speak. Need a little more ink. Oops, sorry for bumping the camera cord. Okay, so now we've got the edges done. I'm going to fold it. And I'm just going to ink down the very edge of that just a little, just to, you know, highlight the crease, so to speak. Same thing here. Whoops. And it's okay if you mess up because nothing has to be perfect in junk journals, which is why I'm good at it. <laughs> because I am as imperfect as imperfect can be. Okay, so we've got the front grunged up. Now, if you have little spots like this, you know, you can, I, I'm just gonna kinda go over the letter a little with very lightly with my sponge, just to kinda add some dark spots in there. Do a little blending around the edges. Okay, and then we're going to turn it over. Now you can coffee dye this if you want to, or you know, you can just ink it up. I'm trying to decide if I want to coffee dye it or not. You know what? Let's coffee dye this one and do a comparison. How about that? So, do I have any coffee anywhere? Let's see. Okay, I do have some coffee. So we're just going to. Ooh, it's good grungy coffee. I'm just gonna paint it on. Cause why not? Doesn't matter what it looks like. Hopefully, sometimes when I coffee dye stuff that I've already printed and I did print this, um, it messes up the printed part. So hopefully it won't do that, but we're gonna see. Oh, that's nice and dark. This is just instant coffee that I got from the dollar store. Okay, we're going to hit it with the heat gun. But what I'm going to do first is put a drying rack under it. I have this. This is for, you know, when you take cookies out of the oven. So I'm just going to pull it up off of my mat here. Let's see what the front looks like. Oh. Okay, and then I'm going to lay it on there. This just helps it dry faster. Um, so, because it allows air to go through it and under it, and it can dry both sides in a lot quicker time. So, hang on. Okay, we're dry, and it actually picked up the grid lines, but it did do away with a lot of our ink. But I like the way it turned out. Um, 
So I'm going to use it. Um, so this one, I think what we'll do is let's try a splatter. I'm going to try and splatter some coffee on it so we don't completely decimate, you know, our writing on the letter, but just to kind of get us a little bit of grunge going. So I'm just going to, let me move this one. Ooh. So we're just going to do some coffee splatters on there. Okay. And then I'm going to dry it again real quick. Okay, so I've got it dry, and I love the way it turned out on the front of it. Um, it kind of got a little bit of a green tint to it, which goes perfectly with the journal. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to take my vintage photo, and I'm going to go around the edges. See, this can still be written on. You can journal on this. Um, because ink will show up above the, the coffee dyed spots. Okay. I didn't use my little um, cardstock piece, but I just kind of got into what I was doing and forgot. But that's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to fold the crease back this way and just run some ink down the crease on both sides. Same with this one. ink and I'm going to start on the outside edge and just kind of come in a little here and there and I'm doing it really really lightly so that I you know I'm trying not to get circle marks it's okay if you get some circle marks because you know it happens so I'm just going to kind of very lightly run this over the page so it's not so stark white everywhere and my ink's kind of drying now, so it's, you know, it's drying up off the ink pad, so you don't have to worry about, kind of like dry brushing with paint. You can hear it kind of squeaking. <laughs> we'll have it squeaky clean. Okay, so now we have a piece for our belly band. Um, but this one, I want to play with this one a little bit. And I think I want to do, since it's so dark, I think I'm going to try the ground, ground espresso. And I think I'm going to have to wet this one a little because it's getting a little dry. I probably should have wet it earlier. But I'm just going to let that soak in for a second. And then dive in. All right, so we're gonna go around the edges with this one. Oh yeah, that's really grungy looking. So you can either get a really dark grunge like this or a lighter grunge like this. I like them both and I like to add a variety into my journals. Hopefully we're doing okay on our time. I'm going to look in a second. You can lay it down on the, you know, like this. And do it this way if you want to. I just tend to make a big old mess when I do it this way, so that's usually why I pick it up and do it. See, and it, I feel like I waste a lot of ink when I do that too. But I'll show you what you can do with that ink in just a second. 
so you don't waste your ink because you can use you can use that okay so we'll go around the edges on this one we're just going to do stuff this way really fast on both sides so I'm just gonna very gently or not gently but lightly because you don't want it you know you don't want it overwhelming okay I'm gonna do this crease on both sides of the crease and both sides of the page and we'll do the creases on this side. And you can write on this. You can journal on top of it. Oops. Sorry, trying to hurry because I'm too lazy to stand up and see where we are on our time. <laughs> letter just like that okay now for our extra ink that we have on our mat let's just go in and wet it a little add a little water to it and we're just going to dip this page into it just like this and just pick up that ink and grunge it up a little bit more there we go and that way we don't waste our ink and then that will dry and you can still um, draw on top of it. Just wipe that off a little. Okay, where are we on our time? Okay, we're doing okay. I thought we were a lot longer than this. Okay, so now I'm just going to um, add this to our journal. I'm just going to fold it up and let me bring over the journal. Okay, and get back to our spot. Right here. And then we're just going to slide this right down into our belly band. Like so. Oh my. See y'all, it's not just on consignment booth videos that I fumble. <laughs> And you know what? I think I'm going to add the darker piece in with this. You know, like the more grungy piece. So let's just go ahead and add it too. Because why not? We'll just add that one in there too. Because I'm stuffing this baby full. So let's just get it good and stuffed. Okay, so that's um, a few ways that you can use to uh, make things look old and grungy. And, um, you know, like it's been there for a minute. So, I just thought I would have a minute and play. Um, I am going to do one more pocket in this journal. Um, and I'll come back in the next video and we'll do that pocket together. And then we'll start decorating our billowing elements and our cover. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But most importantly, please, please have a wonderful, wonderful day. Love y'all real big.